Marathon and Bali has been rapidly intensifying this afternoon in the southwestern Indian Ocean. Currently with winds of 100 miles per hour and a pressure of 970 millibars, our latest satellite estimates on the storm. However, it's not expected to be a major land threat at any point really. St. Brandon is on the CDPS scale for a potential landfall and by that point it will probably have weakened below tropical storm intensity. So it's barely even a stage one on the CDPS with minor impact expected. The threats to the other islands are near nil. Here is the current wind field. It's remarkably small actually, 9.5 degrees south, 62.6 degrees east. That's as of 8 p.m. Mauritius time this December the 5th. It's currently 409 miles from Agalega, 522 from St. Brandon, 695 from Tromeline, 699 from Rodrigues, and 804 from Port Louis, Mauritius. Storm not moving particularly quickly at this point, but is expected to uh, move on towards the southwest over the next few days. No warnings in effect from this storm, or indeed the other one that's active right now, which will probably get named later on tonight, overnight or tomorrow morning. Uh, towards the north of Madagascar. That could be a threat to land there. Expected rainfall then in the next seven days looks like this and if there's going to be any threat from this storm it will probably be rainfall which could reach around 100 millimeters at most in um, St. Brandon uh, but it will probably end up being a little bit less than that. This is the expectations over the next seven days and you can see how the storm's energy really dies away to be honest. It becomes untraceable as it edges further south um, but it does end up reaching St. Brandon and then moving on towards the southwest, but really nothing left of it by then. What's more interesting probably is to observe the track there on the western side of the other cyclone. Sea surface temperatures are fairly warm however, 27 or even 28 degrees Celsius underneath Ambali right now. Uh, so rapid intensification could continue and this storm could become even stronger. Here is the forecast wind uh, radius over the next few days. You can see both of the two cyclones there in the green little dots as they move along here. Um, as you can see Ambali dies away pretty soon. It probably won't be quite as quick as what the models depict because they haven't foreseen this amount of strengthening largely. And then you can see in the Madagascar landfall there from the other cyclone moves through land and probably regenerates on the other side to the south. But as you can see for Ambali not much beyond three or four days. Nonetheless, chances of tropical storm force winds are still there, although they're fairly low. 20% at St. Brandon, 10% at Rodrigues, and 5% on Mauritius. Other areas have negligible chances of tropical storm conditions. Looking at the models, uh, this is the intensity guidance. As you can see, they're hopelessly far behind. It's gone well beyond what they're expecting there, so we'll see just how quickly they expect weakening once they've factored in the strengthening that's just occurred. Wind shear is near nil, that's one of the reasons right why it's strengthened so significantly. It will start to rise. And on the left hand side you can see the track forecast looking a bit like a spider actually on that latest model guidance, but none of those tracks take it over any land areas. So this is how both of the systems have been looking in the last 12 hours. Uh, Mateo France haven't yet designated the other system on the left as a tropical cyclone, a tropical storm yet I should say. They have it as a depression, uh, but all indications are showing that it has now reached tropical storm status. With Ambali you can see that the eye has quite clearly been emerging in the last few frames. Um, still fairly shallow at this point, but there are very high cloud tops surrounding it. So that is good enough for category 2 status with further strengthening possible if that eye does manage to clear out. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming an ultimate fan on YouTube. To see the full list of Ultimate Fan Benefits and to join, visit youtube.com forward slash force13 slash join. With a special thanks to our top supporters this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colours wherever you go. 
You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.